Hi everyone, I'm so excited to invite you to our welcome home service this Sunday, September 20th at 10 o'clock in the morning. There's going to be some details coming up about that, but first I want to address some of the questions and concerns that some have had about us as a church and how we continue to respond to this ongoing pandemic. I know for some, some are still very concerned about safety and what that looks like for us as a church as we continue to gather. And others are a little bit more concerned about how the government might be using this pandemic to infringe upon our civil rights and freedoms as a church. And so we want to look at that as well. Friends, you need to know that your leadership team has been pouring over the different government orders and has been really wrestling through this and they have been working tirelessly. So the next time you see one of them, make sure you say thank you. Now first, when it comes to safety, you need to know that we have our chairs very well spaced out within our auditorium and those who are on the stage are quite far back from the rest of the congregation. And so we meet all of the physical distancing requirements laid out by our provincial health officer. We also have plenty of hand sanitizing stations. Everything is cleaned and disinfected before our services. And everything we do at this point follows the BC health orders as we do our best to minimize the risk of infection. As for those concerns about our rights and freedoms, I understand and I get it. It's a hard time right now wrestling through how we can do our best to honor and follow our government leaders while at the same time remembering that Jesus is our Lord and that we ultimately follow him. And so at this time, we as your leadership team don't believe that the government orders are too difficult or restrictive on us as a church and we willingly choose to abide by their current directives. We are at this time permitted to have up to 50 people in our church services and we have yet to max out that capacity. We are also willing to move to two services so the current orders are not infringing on our ability to gather together. As I already said, we as followers of Jesus want to, as Paul says in Romans 13, to honor and follow our government leaders as best as we can. And so we follow these orders even as we continue to monitor what they are asking of us so that we ultimately obey the wisdom of God rather than the wisdom of people. Friends, I know that this is a very difficult time and there are a lot of different thoughts and opinions, but in all of this, we want to be a church that is loving, that is considerate, and that is understanding of others. And so within our church, let's love and respect each other. For those who are very concerned about physical distancing, let's keep two meters away. And for those who choose to be in each other's bubbles, let's not judge them when they shake hands or hug each other. In all of, in all of this and in all things, let's be united with one another in love and respect. Friends, we also want to be good neighbors to those in our community. And so because of that, we are willing to endure hardships. We're willing to endure this discomfort and these extra challenges so that those around us feel just a little bit safer and that they feel loved by us knowing that we are doing all that we can to minimize infections in our community. Friends, Jesus wants what's best for those around us and for all of us. And so let's do the same for those in our community. Let's be a people of love, a people of compassion and respect as we continue to live with these extra challenges. With that said, again, I am so excited to invite you to our Welcome Home Sunday, this Sunday, September 20th at 10 a.m. While no, because of the current pandemic, we can't do our usual celebration, we are starting up a few new things to make things feel just a little bit more normal. And so starting this Sunday, we will be serving coffee and tea. It won't be self-serve like it has been in the past. Instead, you'll order what you would like, and our servers, who will be wearing masks and gloves, will get it for you. Also starting up this Sunday is Westside Kids, our Sunday morning children's ministry. Now, instead of being dismissed partway through the service, children will be upstairs for the entire service. They will be their own group separate from our group downstairs. And so to make that happen and to keep everyone separate, 
children will be signed in at the outside stairwell door at the front of our church. This will allow us to serve more people and still follow the government orders. Now we will have another video coming out soon about Westside Kids, so stay tuned for more details. Finally, friends, many of our care groups are starting back up in the next upcoming weeks. Care groups are groups of about 6 to 12 adults who get together either in person or online, and they get together to study the Bible and learn together, to support and help one another, and really just to be in community together, which I think is something that we all need now, maybe more than ever before. So if you need help getting connected with a care group, please go to our website, westsidefellowship.ca, and sign up on our care groups page under the connect menu. You can also call or email the church and we'll help get you connected. Our hope is that every adult in our church would be connected and belong to one of our care groups. Friends, the start of this school and ministry year looks very, very different from years past. But you need to know that God is still at work. He's at work in your life. He's at work here in our church. And He is working in our community. So join us Sunday, September 20th, in person or on your couch. And whether you're joining us for the first time or you've been around for many, many years, know that we treat everyone like family. So welcome home.